Um, welcome to the closing ceremonies for WesterCon 73 and LostCon 47. Uh, we have some business to do with WesterCon 73, so we're going to begin with that. Um, I'd like to bring um, Sally Worley up to the stage sure. so she can explain what's going on. It's easier to talk, and I think you understand me better with this off. <laughs> but I was the chairman of 73 before it folded, and so I recently got a refund of our, all the monies we had paid to the hotel for, and so we have money to give away, which we did, and so I would like to give Kevin the, the money, which is $1,000 in pass-along funds. <laughs> we also owe LostCon money because they were kind enough to take the people who had registered for Western and had paid for the uh, membership and they decided they wanted to come here and so we were transferring the money from our account to their account, and I will be doing it as soon as I get home. We're going to give them $1,600. Okay. So thank you all for that, and I've got to fly out of here to get a plane. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you, Scott. No problem. Thank you very much. And, and with that business, I'm going to close LostCon, or WesterCon. 73, officially, mm -hmm. and pass the gavel to the WesterCon 74 chairman, Kevin Sanders. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to let him say a few words, and then we're moving on. Well, it looks like there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> I'm Kevin Stanley. I am the chair of WesterCon 74 in Tonopah, Nevada. And if you haven't figured out where Tonopah is this weekend, you haven't been paying attention to our signs. Not Nevada. By the way, no, it's not Arizona. It's, no, it's not Arizona. Thank you. OK, yes, all right. Uh, WesterCon. Uh, ne th this year's WesterCon. Normally when you take over as a WesterCon chair, you have your WesterCon year. Well, we have our WesterCon seven months. Uh, but I do, because we are the traditional WesterCon dates of July 1st through the 4th, that's the Friday through Monday of the 4th of July holiday weekend in Tonopah, Nevada. Yay. I hope as many of you as possible will join us in Tonopah to honor our special, our honored guests, uh, author uh, Kevin Andrew Murphy from Reno. <laughs> and to balance that out, because much of that has to be done in Nevada, but also because she deserves it, uh, bookseller guest of honor, uh, Myrna Donato from Las Vegas. <laughs> Some of you may recall her uh, Amber Unicorn books, and uh, we're, she, uh, we're delighted to have our guests of honor, and we thank uh, the Utah Fandom Organization, which ran the WesterCon that selected us for a grant that allowed us to do that. Our memberships are currently $60, but you have a last chance to save $10 off that because you're here at WesterCon. Use co go to our website, westercon74.org, and use code uh, back in LA by next weekend, and you will get $10 off that membership. What do you, what do you do? One word? How do you write that? One word? All one word, no spaces. B A C K I N L A. It doesn't matter how you, as far as I know, you don't have, it doesn't matter how it's spelled, you know. No spaces. Definitely. No spaces. Oh, no spaces. Well, thank you. Huh? And we have hand, there's still a little piece of paper on our fan table out there. But that's for next year. And I do also want to also thank, once again, thank Lospis for giving WesterCon 73 a place to be in this year as part, in this year of strangeness, in this 
whole era of strangeness. Uh, we hope you will join us in a place where social distancing is a way of life. <laughs> and, importantly, and importantly, our town of 2,500 people, we are looking forward to increasing the town's population by 10% for the weekend. <laughs> So thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you next July, and uh, I'll give it back to you because that's only half of what went on here. So you've got a, a, another convention to deal with, I think. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, Kevin. And good luck with WesterCon 74. All right, um, this has been quite a weekend. Uh, we had 508 people, warm bodies. And we have 739 memberships. Um, so about 200 people didn't show up, but I kind of expected that. I think they live in Seattle, which is where WesterCon 73 was supposed to be. <laughs> I wouldn't expect them to suddenly show up here. Um, but I want to thank all of you for being here. It's been really great, and I've seen lots and lots of happy faces. And hopefully I haven't seen too many sad faces. But I'm going to turn this over to um, Dr. Benford right now so he can say a couple of words. A couple, that's two. <laughs> I'm already over the limit, yeah. It's been a real, really good fun con. I've been coming to Lost Cons for decades. I've lost track of how many. Uh, and it was a lot of fun to see old friends, find some new friends, and uh, honor those who aren't here, because many couldn't make it. I'm really hoping that the, this one of the very first cons to ever to revive from the COVID era we're going through, and I think the COVID era will not be over for years, truly. Remember, the rest of the planet is far behind our vaccination rate. Yeah, and so uh, it's, it's been an honor to be here and take part, and uh, I think we all need to to help revive the culture of fandom and condom. Sorry, bad fun. <laughs> uh, as is our way. It's a lifestyle you missed. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, we're going to have to work to bring back the culture we had before COVID. And of course, there are always going to be casualties. And we must be prepared for that. I've lost friends, many of you have. Um, but the, the strength of our community is the solidarity over time. After all, the first Worldcon was in 1939. So I'm happy to be a member of this community. I grew up in this community. I started publishing a fanzine with my twin brother when I was 13, and I'm now 80. So uh, perhaps I will get time off for good behavior. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dunford. Let's have a hand. All righty. Um, I'm going to pass this over to the cherries right now so they can uh, say their piece. It's good to be back at a convention, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yay! You're all to be commended for being here and supporting our community when we need it most. And I've been hearing a lot of people say, I'm just happy to get out and talk to somebody. And I want to thank the committee for holding to a high standard of insisting everyone would be vaccinated so we're all safe. And that, uh, you know, that shows how much they care about you. you know? And I want to thank uh, whoever it is that had us um, elected as being guests of honor it was a surprise and it's really humbling and we've enjoyed being you know your source of being able to save lives through blood donations and i want to thank especially michelle pinkus for interfacing with us in the crazy times here when we didn't know what we were doing and she made it look like yeah we didn't know what we were doing because i have her direct phone number <laughs> so thank you so much Yes, we were surprised and honored when we were told we were the guests of honor, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and the rest of the committee. Uh, we've had a wonderful weekend, and we hope you have too. Uh, and we do have the raffle drawing to draw. So we're going to draw for two prizes. The first one's going to be $25, and we have that here in case you're in the audience.
Close your eyes. And the winner of 25 is Brian Franken? Franker? Franker? Fra donor, donor number 31, Mangswoof P. At gmail.com. Gmail yeah. Um, Not here, I guess. Okay. Okay. Well, Mr. Chairman, we will give this to you to mail out to him. Oh. And the next one is for a free membership to next year's LOSCON. We don't have anything to give you personally, but the committee will take care of that for you. But if you're here, wave your hands and shout and be cra crazy. See if it's Harold again. And the winner is Jasmine White. Is she not here? If you're a friend of hers, tell her. She won. She's coming next year on a freebie. Yeah, we love it when people get excited. We miss it when they're like, yeah. <laughs> Right, free membership of that one. So, uh, <laughs> and so again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for coming to our panels. It was. Um, you have to tell them how many we took. How many? Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, for the blood drive, our goal was thirty, and we got thirty-two. So yes. And, and we were concerned about that because, you know, there are less people here. There's about half the people normally showing up. But the Red Cross does put our blood drive and all the other blood drives they run on their website. So that helped a lot. But thank you all here to have participated, uh, who support us. And, you know, just always come to our blood drives. Thank you very much. And so thank you again. <laughs> thank you again, committee. And again, Michelle. We were trying to be invisible guests, and we, we had a few staff who was in problems, but you helped us through it. So thank you very much. You're All right. Um, unfortunately, Jeff Sturgeon couldn't be with us because he had a slight family emergency, and he had to leave a little early. Um, but I'm going to pass this to Michelle, who has a word from Mr. Uh, Sturgeon. Jeff wants to thank everyone here. He had a marvelous time and loves you all. Yay. And, he, and he does apologize for having to leave. It really was important. So, And he looks forward to seeing you guys in the future. And just you guys were awesome. I got to say, I, I, several times during my show last night, I almost had to stop and cry. My heart was so full to see you all. Uh, this has been just such a rough couple of years, and seeing everybody going the extra mile, the, you know, the con staff, the volunteers, the guests, everyone digging deep with just the, you know, the patience and the endurance and making this happen. And my God, it is so good to see you guys, and I can't wait to see you all again. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to check out my music, it's all free at griffined.org. And uh, we also serve schools for free, so if you know teachers or whatever. But but meantime, just you know, love you all so much. Okay, this has been quite a weekend, and I have some specific groups that I need to thank very much. Um, first, I need to thank Tom Safer for sponsoring the Ice Cream Social and running the film room. He was very generous, and he's done a very good job programming the film room, so I'm really happy. Um, and I also want to thank Skiffy, the Soci Southern California Institute for Fan Interests, I believe is what Skiffy stands for, C-I-F-I. And they both sponsored our con suite and staff lounge and provided us with most of the sodas that you guys have consumed for this weekend. Um, and they were really generous there, too. Um, I've also got a couple of other people I want to thank specifically. Michelle Pincus is one of the most uh, important people to me for the last oh, four months or so, keeping this thing going. Um, she was uh, basically invaluable, and I, I really thank her for that. And if I haven't already, I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, it's just incredible to see you all here, and I really needed to get out of the house. <laughs> so you guys provided a great excuse. <laughs> all right, um, I'm going to pass this over to next year's chair, Nick Smith. And, and yes, and Michelle would like to say a few things so she can pass it on to Nick. 
Hello, everyone. Uh, first off, I want to thank our amazing staff and volunteers. You're all amazing, and you guys are the ones who made this a success. And then I'd like to thank each and every attendee, every warm body here. You guys were all awesome. It was our absolute joy and pleasure to be here with you. All right, as next year's con chair, I wanted to say something that I think is good news. Yeah. A whole bunch of people have already bought their memberships for next year. In fact, about 20% of the people who were at this con at all have already bought their memberships for next year, which is an, an amazing percentage. Now, I can't tell you the full list of guests for next year yet because there's some stuff still being negotiated. I will tell you who our fan guests of honor are for next year because they're sitting here in the front row. <laughs> Susan Fox and Jean Turnbow of Sci-Fi Radio. And I can tell you that one of our current guests, a fan guest of honor, is going to be running our website for next year, and it turns on tomorrow, where you'll be able to start seeing things as they're announced, which some of them, I hope, will be announced within a few days, because there's some things that are currently being worked on. But I also wanted to mention that Gavin Claypool is sitting out there all by himself at a table waiting for any of you who want to rush out and buy your memberships for next year before Elaine gets grouchy and takes the money away. <laughs> sure. Well, there, there, are, there are several things going on because there are going to be discounts when we sell at conventions, but what we tried to do is make sure the people who supported this year's convention by attending it got the best rates for next year. And we're going to be at this hotel for at least one more year. Then the negotiations happen with the hotel for a continuation if we're staying here at this hotel. But for next year, I wanted to let you know that the plan is for an author guest, an artist guest, and a music guest. And I think you will be pleased if some of those fall into place as currently planned. So. I want to turn this back over to the current chair to close things out, and we'll see you next year. All right, finally, I, I want to thank all of our, our guests of honor, Dr. Benford, um, Jeff Sturgeon, and the Cherries. You guys have all been delightful, and it's been fun. And I got to say, Dr. Benford, you provided one of the most enthusiastic responses to being asked to be guest that I've ever had, and this is my fourth loss con. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, you microphone right there. I don't need, do I need a microphone? Yes. 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 <laughs> this is a big, yeah. echoey room. Dead Dog is available in the con suite starting now. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, thank you. I'm going to send you out in the night. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Wait, don't we have this until 11.59 tonight? <laughs> yeah, uh, and if you do wish to stay, we have a truck to load, so we'll be helpful. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Any, anybody who wants to help out is more than welcome. But thank you. And see you next year.